secret history, Nazis, UFOs and Antarctic. The Third Reich and UFOs? Today, no one disputes that many talented engineers and scientists have worked at the Aminobi Research Institute, as well as in other secret laboratories in Germany. But what additional materials have they used, except for the latest scientific and technical developments at the time? At least this is the question of historians, specialists and even apologists. For example, it is known that the Germans found and transported to Germany the ancient Indian manuscripts Vimunika Shastru and Samarangana Sutradharan, which described completely unusual technologies and samples of technology, which, as researchers consider, are of alien origin. If you think so, it turns out that Hitler has been helped by the very superior powers. How else should we refer to the detailed description of the huge spacecraft Shakuna Viminas, which resembles the appearance of modern reusable spaceships, such as Shuttle and Buran? As has been said, he is capable of flying not only within the solar system, but also toward the stars. One of the active elements of its propulsion system was its mercury or its vapor. Reference data from the Third Reich archives said that scientists from Ahninobi were able to read some of the ancient occult keys, magical formulas, spells, special rituals, that made it possible to establish contact with unknown sources. Germans called them foreign or alien entities. They were interested in the Third Reich and directly in the UFO phenomenon. In order to study it, a special military research unit Sonder Bureau T-13 was set up in Germany at the end of 1942, which carried out research under the codename Operation Uranus. Its results may be used in the production of battle discs. A decade and a half before Soviet and American designers, German rocket engineers tested at the end of the war an intercontinental ballistic missile 4-3, retaliation weapon, for unvetting New York and other American cities. The Overseas Alternative 3 book provides basic data, general drawings and a description of the design of the huge-sized German orbital space station Andromeda, more than 100 meters long, which looks like a large aircraft. If you think that the book, then in 1943, Andromeda, built at a secret plant near Berlin, was launched in orbit near the ground as a single structure, using two anti-gravity magnetic devices with a fluid working mercury. In our time, such stations are assembled in orbit only in certain parts. Here, too, questions come up again, to which there are no unequivocal answers. What do the battle disks of the Third Reich, the Vimans of the older Anans and Hindus have in common, and modern UFOs? Did the Germans catch a collapsed UFO that triggered the creation of their own disks? Some apologists believe that contact with an alien civilization in the Pleiades constellation took place a long time ago, just before the Second World War, having a significant impact on the scientific and technical developments of the Third Reich. Until the end of the war, Nazi leaders had hoped for direct alien military aid, but never received it. The first cases of UFO appearances in the last century were officially recorded during World War II. The witnesses mentioned strange, cigarette, plate or spherical shapes. They referred to the huge speeds of these devices. They could suddenly appear, fly through the military bombardment and disappear without a trace. Military pilots have signaled that the instrument is refusing to operate as if the appearance of these strange forms acted as a kind of force field that interacted with the navigation devices. Thus appeared the name of the unidentified flying object, simply abbreviated, UFO. The secret services claim that the Germans started drawing up such projects during the war. The design, Construction and testing of experimental aircraft in the form of disks by the Nazis does not seem to be a funny statement, taking into account the German technical progress since the end of the war, here only mention Messerschmitt Mi-262 jet airplanes and the first ballistic missiles V-1, V-2. The project called the Sfriva Haber Moll system, which took place between 1941 and 1943, was based in Prague and was developed by Luftwaffe at Hitler's order to Hermann Göring, with the aim of creating a super weapon. From the memoirs of a prisoner in the Peenemud camp, 
We find out that a strange device in the form of a disc-shaped device lifted in the air, but during the flight a certain instability was observed. It seems that the tests continued after this apparatus was cut off by a wind gusts. In February 1945 such an apparatus rose from the ground to a height of 15 km and reached a speed of 2,200 km per hour. He could stand out and land vertically, stay suspended in the air and fly in any direction without overturning. What shape of discs? Research by German scientists in the field of aerodynamics has shown that such a form is favorable to speed. The last part of the war also went to capture scientists who later continued their studies in Russia and the USA. After the war, the American and Russian scientists searched for the schemes of German cars and remained astonished at a photograph of a device that reminded of UFO. There is evidence that the participants of an American expedition observed unusual shape apparatus from Antarctic waters. If this technology existed in the middle of the last century, we cannot help wondering how many of the UFOs erroneously attributed to some beings in other worlds were secret projects continued by countries such as Russia, USA or Great Britain, the winners of the Second World War. At least officially. There are some less official sources who say that the Nazis did not lose the rabbi, but withdrew in the Antarctic, in the Arctic region they named Neuschwimmland, Hitler and Antarctic. The official version of the circumstances of Hitler's death is known. That he had swallowed the poison, then he shot himself with the revolver and in the last state the soldiers burned his body as though to deepen the mystery. The explanation is very convenient to the official historians for whom history is not an enigma, but until 1948 Stalin had a rather skeptical attitude on this version, as he was more sure of the ones reported by his spies. According to the information provided by them on the 1st of May 1945, a group of German tanks was raided through one of the sections of the Guard Division 52. The tanks were moving northwards at high speed. Most of them were destroyed, but it seems to be just a diversion, as large civilian cars were observed that managed to disappear in an unknown direction. The secret services believed Hitler was in one of these vehicles. According to information from the former Nazis, Adolf Hitler lived in Anhaker until 1971. The expertise of Hitler's and Divi Braun's sheep was done in haste and inattentive. There are evidence that the Soviet agents deliberately falsified the data. The alleged Ozids were buried in a locality near Leipzig. In 1972 they were removed from the graves and incinerated. Why was this done? Was it because he had found out that Hitler had died a year ago? The first German expeditions to the Antarctic took place from 1901 to 1903. Starting with 1938 Nazis have started sending numerous shipments to the Queen Maud region of Antarctica. Most of these frequent and constant expeditions were from South Africa. More than 370.000 square kilometers were mapped with the Germans discovering vast regions that were not covered by ice, hot water lakes and numerous fish. Various scientific teams were sent to these areas, botanists, zoologists, marine biologists, etc. Many divisions of the Nazi government were involved in this secret mission. All these shipments culminated in Germany claiming these territories. The name chosen for this colony was Neuschwittenland. Before the end of the Second World War, two submarines, U-530 and U-977, brought to the Antarctic scientists who had been engaged and educated in the field of anti-gravitational disks and all the logistics required. The two untested submarines were caught in the Argentinian coastal area, and the crews were questioned by the US Navy. In the Southern Hemisphere in the summer 1946 to 1947, US Navy appears to have invaded Antarctic with a large number of soldiers. The operation, called High Jump, was classified. In 1958, three nuclear bombs were detonated in the region, as part of another secret operation of the USA codename Argus. At the beginning of April 2011, a less common topic was beginning to raise the whole world. The Americans were looking for something. In the Antarctic. 
The secret operation was carried out at high speed, breaking even the rules, and the international laws enforced. No matter what the truth is, I am sure it is not found in the official versions no one has ever mentioned anything about it since.